when you when, when things when things happen, um, something something critical and vital right before you get started could be a disaster. And so uh, instead of that, instead of us quitting, we just have to move forward. Uh, my sincerest apologies. With that, I wanna welcome you all to class today. My name is Professor Matt Houston. Um, it's 409 and this is um, January the 27th, uh, 2021. This is officially your second week at school at UNT Dallas, but this is your first your first live portion, uh, first live class here on the, in, 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 this, in this section. If you would, um, please send me in your chat box if you were able to see my message last week and see the recording um, that I posted on YouTube. Would you mind posting in your chat box um, if you did or not by saying yes or no, if, you, if you're able to write? if you're able to watch the uh, class. Great, great. I see some, some people uh, completed it. What were your thoughts? What were your thoughts on last week's uh, lessons? Not, not anything specific, but just overall and the understanding of what you think this class is. You all, please feel free to unmute yourselves. And everyone, please turn on your videos. Anyone could say anything. Anyone can start off. Okay, Judas, what, what did you think about class? What did you think about the first week or the first uh, class section? Oh, and I'm getting my camera fixed. So by next class, I should be good. But, um, okay. Um, I mean, I thought it was informative. We went over like syllabus and stuff. Um, yeah, I mean, it was a good start to like get into the class. I just, it just good. sucks that it wasn't live though. Say that one, say the last part again. It just sucks that it wasn't live. Yeah, yeah. And so that was my apologies. I, I want to apologize to you in that I um, had a, a mix up on my end. I, I teach two sections of entrepreneurship every semester. And last semester I taught on Wednesdays at seven and Thursdays at four. Um, and so I thought I had the same schedule again um, last week, or I thought I knew we switched it to Wednesdays, but someone thought I we were teaching at, on Thursday. And so that threw me off. So that was my apologies. Um, so typically how we're going to operate is to have our class live um, at four o'clock on Wednesdays. I want our I want our class to last about an hour, hour and a half, maybe two hours if we have a public speaker, if we have, if I bring in an entrepreneur, which we'll start doing that next week, um, where you'll be able to hear their story, ask questions, and just talk to um, either entrepreneurs um, who are currently in business or who are advocates for entrepreneurs or who are politicians who write legislation for entrepreneurs. Those type of uh, classes, when I have those guests, will last about two hours. Um, but the average class will be live for about an hour or so where you'll have a lecture. You may have a group activity. And then the following day, I will post uh, a YouTube link on your student, on your class assignments, group assignments, portion of Canvas where you can see the previous day's class. So that's going to be the system from now on. Um, we will definitely cut this class a little short um, because we have um, technical difficulties, but I wanted to at least go over some housekeeping rules um, before I dismiss you all uh, for today. All right. Anyone else, any other responses from last week's class? No? Okay, good deal. Well, this is what I wanted to do, since you all can't see my, my PowerPoint slide. I want us to, one, uh, introduce ourselves. Um, Y'all heard my story on YouTube last, last week. I don't want to bore you with that. I want to hear a little bit about yourselves. So if you would, um, I'm going to think of a number between 1 and 20, and if you all can, type in the chat box uh, one number 
between 1 and 20. See how close y'all can get to me. Okay. These are some really good numbers here. Okay. Okay. All right. Did everybody type in a number? I'm counting the num. I should see 15 numbers on here. So let's see. So I'm trying to type, but it's not letting me. Like I'm clicking chat. Can I just tell you my number? Yes, you can tell me my Tell me your number. Uh, I do seven. Okay. Oh, I'm, right. I'm, a, I'm going to write that down. Who was that again? Let me see if I can. Daisy Gonzalez right here. All right. All right, Daisy. Let's see. Good. All right. Okay, good deal, good deal. It looks like everyone has a number. So this is what we're gonna do. I have a number that's in my head and the person who either selected that number or close by it will be the first person to answer these questions, all right? The first question would be, what's your name? What's your classification? What will be your expectations for this class? And what would be a, a great business idea you'd like to start? Does this sound familiar to anyone? Where did this come from? The survey? Aha, from the survey that you took for extra credit, correct? All right, all right. So my number was four. So I saw two people with four. I saw Kendrick and it looks like Anthony. So let's start with Anthony. Anthony, please give me your name, classification. All right, so my name is Anthony Salcedo. Mm -hmm. Classification, I'm, uh, you mean like what grade, right? Yeah, right. what grade are you in? Mm -hmm. Yeah, basically, uh, I'm a junior. This is my second semester here at UNT Dallas. I transferred from uh, uh, Dallas College, which was back then Cedar Valley. Yep. Uh, and I'm here on Dallas Promise. What was the next? question what do you expect from this course as from this entrepreneurship class i guess the basis you know uh general concepts from entrepreneurship you know i, I understand that entrepreneur oh i'm sorry entrepreneurship journey is different for everybody but there has to be a basis that all of them have to go through so i guess the basis is the, what i'm looking for gotcha good deal good deal thank you thank you very mm -hmm. much Jen. all right the next person is kendrick Oh, hey, uh, my name is Kendrick. This is my third year here. I'm a junior. This is my second semester. I just transferred from uh, UNT Den. And what's the next question? What's your expectation? What would you expect from this class? What would you like to learn? Uh, maybe just more experience and knowledge about uh, the whole entrepreneurship journey and stuff like that. And Sounds good. What else you got for me, Kendrick? Uh, what was the last question? What would be a dream job you would like to start? Oh, uh, maybe like a, cl a clothing brand. I'm kind of working on that right now, but I haven't. Uh, I'm kind of like at the beginning process of it for a clothing brand. Gotcha. That's a good deal, Kendrick. Yes. Good deal. Hopefully, hopefully the class will help you help you at least know the foundational principles of trying to create something like clothing brand. Yeah. Good deal. All right, next up, Ning Leon. Is it Ning? Yes, that's correct. Um, hello, my name is Ning Leon, and this is my second semester at UNT Dallas. I transferred from El Centro College. And um, what, uh, what do I expect from this class is I want to expand my knowledge um, about entrepreneurship and what if I am I were to start a business, um, I will, I'm not exactly sure what I really want to do exactly, but I will someday I want to like open my own business. Oh, good deal. Good deal. Um, thank you for sharing that. And I would love to, uh, I'm excited to not only provide some, some of my journey to show you how I started a business, 
Um, I've been an entrepreneur since I was 13 years old, um, but also want to bring other people um, here to class so that they can talk about their journeys as well. Um, it's really easy to start a business. Um, what I want to do is make sure that you all remain successful and, and maintain your business. So thank you, Ning, for that. Um, and, and welcome to UNT Dallas. Brian Lopez. Uh, yes, hello. Yes. Could you uh, turn your camera on for me, Brian? Or are you still? Uh, well, I'm driving right now. I can't really. Okay, that's fine. No, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, well, my name is Brian Lopez. I'm a senior at UNT Dallas. Mm -hmm. um, what, I, what I want to get from this class is mostly just, I mean, like everybody else, just spend my knowledge on the subject, see how it could help me in the future when I start a business. Uh, the type of business I want to start is uh, like a construction business because that's currently what I do now. So I just want to, you know, get a head start on that. See what, what it is. Good deal. Good. It, yeah. Good deal. Thanks for sharing that, Brian. Appreciate that. I started a construction business once upon a time, um, about maybe eight years ago. It's really interesting. All right. Amy Salinas. Um, hi. Can y'all um, hear me? Yeah. Okay. Can I hear um, Amy, this is my second um, semester at UNT Dallas. I transferred from Dallas colleges, and from I want what I want to learn from this class is how to enhance my creativity and boost my innovation skills, and just learn from other entrepreneurs and um, value other people's like skills and whatnot. And a business that I hope to start is a fashion boutique. Nice. Good deal. Well, I'm excited that you're here and I hope that you're able to um, learn some things uh, throughout the next 15 weeks in this class. Thank you. Thank you. Brianna Johnson, I think you're number eight. Sorry. Hi, I'm Brianna Johnson. Um, I'm a junior. I just transferred from Blaine College. So this is my first semester at UNT in Dallas. Um, what I want to take from this class is I want to be my own entrepreneur and own my own businesses, change businesses. And the type of business I want to own is my own smoke shop. And whenever they legalize weed and well, marijuana in Texas, I want to be able to create my own strains and concentrates and edibles and be able to just provide for everyone who needs it or wants it recreationally, hopefully, and just have my own name brand of everything in there, like my own glass, merch and all that stuff and just everything made by me. And I'm in control of all of it. Gotcha, pleasure meeting you. And thank you for, for sharing that. Um, drive once it's legal. I wanna emphasize once it's legal in the state of Texas, uh, then you can exercise uh, that, that space in entrepreneurship. Um, I also, in this class, you actually brought up a great point. Um, most people, um, most people don't understand or don't know the correlation between business and politics or policy, but that's a great example that I want to, we'll, we'll discuss next week, actually, um, how you can change laws so that you can create businesses that'll create this type of opportunity. So um, thank you for sharing that. And uh, we can, we'll definitely um, discuss that. Thanks, Daisy. Let's see, Brianna, let's see who's next. That was Brianna, correct? Let's go to Omar. Hello, yes. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm driving. My name is Omar. I'm, uh, it's my first semester at U UNT, transferred from Navarro College. Um, I'm taking this class because my dream is to open my own restaurant. Nice. So hopefully they, people told me entrepreneur, you can learn a lot of stuff from them in online journey. So I'm trying to learn from them. Good. That's great that you say that because one of our speakers has already confirmed he owns three restaurants and he's building a, he's building a fourth one um, here in the, in the Dallas area. He's also my brother-in-law. So he will be one of our speakers. So um, he has a vast knowledge um, of the food industry and you can ask questions from him too. He also okay. owns a rum bar too. So he does restaurant and bar type stuff. Have like He's, a mix mix restaurant and a bar. And all that. That's what you, is that what you like to do? Yeah. 
Yes, sir. Nice, nice. Good deal. Well, that no, that's definitely good. He'll he'll be excited to 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 chat with you or anyone else who wants to to go into the food industry. Thank you. Thank you. Sit yelly. Sit yelly. Did I say that correctly? Sit yelly. It's sit lali. Sit lali. Sorry about that. Sit lali. Yes. You're like I'm gonna accept oh, well, it. I'm gonna work on uh, this. You can call me. Uh, you can call me Lali. I go by Lali. So sit Lali. Yes, but if it's easier, you could just call me Lali. I want your government name. I want what your mama <laughs> called you. That's what I want to know. I don't want to okay, disrespect yeah. your family. Okay. Yeah. Well, my name is Itlali Mendiola. Um, this is my second year at UNT Dallas. I transferred from Mountain View College. Um. I would just like to uh, have more knowledge on entrepreneurship because I do want to own my own business. I want to either start a lash line or a boutique, a fashion boutique. Nice, nice. Well, pleasure meeting you. Um, sit Lolly. Yes. Bayaka. All right. As you can tell, she is on my lower left-hand screen of my camera, of my computer. Um, thank you. Thank you for sharing that. Who is Juan? Juan, I believe, is next, number 11. Or did I already go? Did we already talk to Juan? Let's see. Hello? Oh, no. Did we already talk to you, Juan, or no? No, not yet. Oh, sorry about that. How you doing? Good. So my name is Juan Martinez. I'm a junior at UNTD. Mm -hmm. And I want to do the same thing as Brian, start my own business in construction, because that's what I'm doing right now. Good deal. Good deal. Another, another thing that uh, we could talk about in this course are partnerships. If you have a skill and you find someone else who has a similar skill, let's say in the same industry, construction, but let's say one focus has a specialty in concrete and another person that focused on wood or carpentry, you all could possibly start a partnership and you can have an, y'all can still have your same individual business entities, but create a third entity, which is a partnership a combination of the two of your businesses to get larger deals. So we can, we will also be talking about that in this class too. So uh, thank you. Thanks for sharing that. Yeah. I've been a part of a couple yeah, I know a lot of like concrete and wood. So like basically everything, Mm hmm Okay. Okay. Good deal. Pleasure meeting you, Juan. Austin Reynolds. Yeah, that's me. Um, hey, there he is. Okay. Hey, everyone. Uh, my name's Austin. Uh, I'm also a junior here at UNT Dallas. Seems like a lot of us are juniors. Um, I am uh, looking forward to this class because I'm you know, hoping to start my own business someday. So I want to know what kind of goes into starting a business and, you know, how, you, you know, the proper steps towards that and everything. As far as what I want my business to be, um, I'm not entirely sure yet. Um, I have a couple of interests. I've played basketball my whole life. So, I, you know, maybe something involving sports or something like that. Um, but I'm also, uh, I also um, am interested in the restaurant business as well, because I almost attended culinary school too. So got a couple different options but yeah good deal no those are two great um particular industries that have a lot of job opportunities or entrepreneurial entrepreneur opportunities that's not just in its traditional form like people think oh I'm, i love basketball if i'm not a professional basketball athlete i'm not making money in this industry there are a lot of people who have this as a niche that have created businesses to be successful so uh we can talk about that as well thank you thank you for sharing that and pleasure meeting you you too hey caitlin birch right now i'm realizing people who wrote a number from that's on the latter part of the close to 20 is really being happy that they have to they can listen to everyone else but anyway caitlin birch can you hear me yes okay Sorry, I'm at work right now, but my name is Caitlin. Um, I am a transfer student from Richland College. I'm through Dallas Thomas, and this is my first semester here. Um, I'm a junior, and what was the next question? I'm sorry. What type of drink? What type? What's your? What will be? Your, what do you expect 
from this class. And then the last question would be, will be a dream job, you, dream business you would like to start? So what I expect from this class is just kind of learning more like about, about entrepreneurship and how I can apply it to like the real world. And then my dream like job through entrepreneurship is going to be owning my own charity for orphan kids. Mm -hmm. and traveling the world but yeah good deal good deal well thank you thank you very much thank you marco riviera uh hello everyone uh hey, marco. my name is marco Vera. hello uh this is my second year at unt dallas uh, i think i'm classified as a sophomore i should really check i'm not i'm not 100 percent sure about that um, why I enrolled in this class is because I actually started my business earlier this January. I have my HVAC contractor company already. And so I'm just looking to know how to manage it, know how to expand and, and basically work efficiently. Uh, um, deal. upon my next business venture, uh, my real dream, I want to open up a tuner shop and just dedicate myself to tuning and working on cars and making them go fast. Good deal. Good deal. Thank you for sharing that. And I'm excited to work with you and the rest of your student, the rest of the students here on this call um, to help you build um, the infrastructure for your business. I will have people um, who've been doing that. I've done it. Um, so I will give you my purview. The one thing I can tell you today right now, that there's no one solution to make a great business. You can hear it from multiple different vantage points, multiple different people, and it's based on the amount of assets or things that they have, and it's the industry that you're in, and it is the timing as well. So I want us uh, to, to be able to collaborate and, and discuss so that you can figure out the best practices to make your new HVAC business a success. Yeah. Thank you, sir. No problem. Judith Verdin. Verdin? Yes. Hello, everybody. Um, my name is Judith Verdeen. I'm Verdeen. a junior here at uh, UNTD. It's my third semester, I want to say. Um, mm -hmm. Well, I'm already an entrepreneur. I am a last tech and a nail tech currently. I, um, okay. I, I work from home. I have like my little studio or whatever. Um, and I'm also, you know, taking classes. Um, I hope to, um, you know, learn more about entrepreneurship in the class, just like everybody else, I guess. Um, and yeah, I mean, my hope is to open my own now and last supply. So yeah, and I already have a little bit of experience in um, the business field since my family does own a couple of businesses. So I mean, yeah, I'm just trying to learn more. Gotcha. There's yeah. always, there's always an opportunity to learn more. So I appreciate you enrolling in this class and I, and I look forward to helping you add more tools in your already existing toolbox of entrepreneurship. Good deal. Last. Thank you. No, no problem. Last number I see, it, but certainly not least, is coming from Michelle Hernandez, but I don't think she's on. Is she back on? There she is right here. Um, before I go to Michelle, did, did I miss anyone? Did, any, did everyone say anything? There we go, Ms. Gonzalez. Uh, oh, yeah, you were number seven. I missed you. I know I didn't want to interrupt you, so I was like, and I wrote it down, Daisy <laughs> Gonzalez, seven, and I failed. My apologies. Let's go ahead. We'll talk to Daisy, and then we'll finish with Michelle uh, Hernandez. Okay, so hi, my name's Daisy. Um, I'm a senior. My major is communications and technology, but so I've just recently got into like or getting into like entrepreneurship. Like I want to learn more about it. That's why I signed up for this class. Mm -hmm. But I really want to like sell soap because I'm really into mm -hmm. making like my own soap and stuff. And yeah, I guess I just want to learn like how I could start selling to other people. Cause I mean, gotcha. I have no idea. So yeah. Good deal. Well, <laughs> you'll be able to learn some principles to do that um, because a lot of the the foundational principles of entrepreneurship can be applied to a multiple uh, multiple industries, whether it is beauty or hygiene, where you're built making soap, building your own soap, 
um, that's that doesn't have any type of extra chemicals or things of that nature. Um, there, there's a market for that. And so I would love to, to talk to you all about that. Last, uh, other, is there anyone else that I missed? Michelle, Michelle Hernandez, and then we'll go to Jay Blake last. Hi, uh, my name is Michelle. I currently, I believe this is my fourth year um, at school. Uh, and also I want to do pretty much what those two other guys said. Uh, I'm in a, con in a contracting um, business with my dad. Uh, so we're doing that right now. So I feel like this entrepreneurship class would really benefit me in the long run. Good deal. Good deal. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that, mm -hmm. Michelle. And um, uh, I hear some synergies and partnerships happening already. Uh, but we'll, we'll talk about that a little bit later on uh, this evening. Let's see. Last now, last but certainly not least is Jay Blake. Jay, how are you, sir? Oh, you're on mute. Got you on me. I know you just joined us. Sorry. Hey. <laughs> um, hey I'm here, Mitch. Good, good. I know you just joined us, but we are just um, just getting giving introductions, just giving people your name, your grade, um, what you expect from this entrepreneurship class, and what would be the perfect entrepreneurial venture you would start or have okay. already started. All right, cool. Um, so I'm uh, I'm Jay, obviously. Um, I am a senior. Um, and um entrepreneurial venture that I would start would be um, I'm a I'm a, a project manager and a product owner um, so I do a lot of things like contracting resource planning just kind of managing the work um, scope schedule time things like that um, mm -hmm. so that's actually um, a, a set of skills and a job that's very marketable as in as a freelancer um, so it's something that I would be interested in uh, maybe a little bit later would be going into my own business, kind of doing that work um, either as a freelancer or actually having a staff um, of my own that I would contract out. So it would be something of that nature. Nice. Yeah. And that's another, some more synergy I hear already. So this is uh this is really good. And so thank you all. I believe I got everyone. Uh, I believe everyone's spoken. Thank you all for sharing that. Um, this really means a lot to me because as a professor, my goal is to not only teach what I know, but want to make it connect so that it can, you can apply it once you leave this class. Because you don't have to have a college degree in entrepreneurship to be a good entrepreneur. In fact, most entrepreneurs don't have a college degree, most successful ones. Um, I did not practice, I did not take an entrepreneurship course um, in college. I did, however, start businesses and I failed at a lot of them, a lot of them. I did well in a few of them. And with those uh, businesses that I did well, I wanna ensure that I make my surroundings better. I wanted to make sure my business was good. I was hiring the right people that they, they were able to feed their families. And so that takes a system that takes methods that takes advice and knowledge that you just can't get from a textbook, right? You can't, you just can't get it here. And so for the next 14 and a half weeks, what I want to do is provide um, a combination of academia, I want you to read these case studies that are, are that are in my that are that are assigned to your textbook. If you notice, I don't have any. If you notice on your assignment portion of Canvas, the only thing in your textbook you need to complete will be the case studies at the end of the chapter. Um, but I really want you to practice and exercise all of the assignments that are on Canvas, and that's going to take time and energy. And it's non-traditional, but it's very beneficial. It's very beneficial for you to make interviews, to write a list of things that, that bother you. That's gonna be on the bug list. That's your first assignment. Um, that's, I believe is due this Friday. Um, and so I want you to learn entrepreneurship through this journey. And then every Wednesday, we're going to meet up. Um, I will give you a lecture. Um, we may have a, a speaker right now. I've confirmed five speakers. Um, my goal is to have about 10 speakers um, for the semester. And then we will have breakout sessions where um, you will have, you will 
you'll be in breakout rooms virtually um, with three, four, or five individuals um, and doing some, some activities uh, so that we can learn more about entrepreneurship. But the reason why we're doing this is so that you all can understand in a fun way what entrepreneurship is. I don't wanna make this seem like this needs to be your most important class in the semester because y'all have other things to do. You all have lives, you all have families, you all have, um, you all have obligations. And so I want this to be as infor informative and applicable to you all as possible. Does that make sense? Does anyone have any questions? No? Okay, good deal. The next thing I want you all to do is actually something that you can do on your homes and your computer, and I am going to provide uh, extra credit for, for you. And that is to like my YouTube channel. And I'm going to send you a link of my page, my channel, copy, this in the chat box. Go to YouTube and like my channel. Why am I asking you to like my channel? Well, because the lecture each class the following day or maybe the, the, the next, the evening will be uploaded to, to my channel for you all to view so that you all can um, view either the class that you just missed, or if you want to go back and re-listen to the finance lecture um, and guest speaker um, before you as a group will create your all's final presentation. I want you all to be able to, I want you all to be able to have access to that. And if you all show me proof that you have subscribed to my YouTube channel, and you can do that by providing a screenshot of you, with my face or or my YouTube channel and it says subscribed, has a subscribed uh, symbol on it. Um, I will provide, and you submit it as one of the extra credit assignments. Let's make it extra credit assignment number two. Um, then I will give you all full uh, extra credit for that particular extra credit assignment. Does that make sense? All right, so y'all please um, subscribe to my channel take a snapshot, submit it into extra credit assignment number two, and then that's another way you'll get extra credit points. Good job. Also, since you all made an announcement, since you all spoke um, in class today, you all qualify you as attendance. So you all have received credit for attendance today, right? I'm not taking attendance every day, um, but I want to make sure periodically that um, we are present, mainly because we don't have any other ways of interacting. And in order for this class to be a, a success for both of us to, to maximize what we get out of this class, we have to be very present. And I want to make sure that, that you're, you're coming every week. And when you all are coming every week, I don't want to waste your time. I want to make sure you're having a great time and that you're learning. Okay. So could you do me a favor and make a commitment to be present um, and be attentive on the zoom call. And I will um, on my end be as engaging as possible so that we can all have a great, great time. Is that cool? I see a lot less. Yes. I, yeah. Well, I, yeah, yeah, I was about to say I, I, people started saying, yeah, extra credit. Cool. Oh, wait, I got a joint class. Okay. It went from enthusiastic yeses to, uh, okay. Anyway, I digress. Um, no, it's, I think it's really important. I don't think it's important for us to, to make sure you come here every day, uh, but it's important as adults that you all have a benefit. Y'all have fun and want to come here every Wednesday. All right. I had a whole lecture scheduled uh, for this week. Um, but since I'm having technical difficulties, what I want to do uh, is give you a couple of housekeeping things that I want to uh, go over with you and then have an overarching discussion on what entrepreneurship is. Um, that'll introduce, that'll lead us into next week's class. I'll just condense my formal presentation 
I had I had it in two parts for next week. I'm just going to make it one part. Um, and then we'll just have an open discussion today. All right. Have you all taken a look at your assignments on Canvas yet? Yes. yes. Okay. If you have, great. If you haven't, you'll have plenty of time to do that this semester. Um, you, you have about 25, 27 assignments that's worth three points each on Canvas. Those are activities that are either creating lists, doing, doing interviews, um, providing some sort of analysis in terms of drawing conclusions, creating a hypothesis. Um, <clears throat> these are steps that several of my colleagues have created um, as curriculum for how you can explore becoming an entrepreneur. These are important throughout the journey as this will help you understand the mindset of an entrepreneur, but it also gives you opportunity to think creatively about what you want to do, not only with your midterm or your final exam, which we'll talk about later today, but with the businesses that you all just talked to me about. Um, you notice that, oh, I just, I have an opportunity to interview someone in construction. Let me let me contact them, whether it's the head of Turner Construction or Beck Construction. Tell them I'm a uh, UNT Dallas student teaching learning entrepreneurship and that I may want to be in, a, uh, be in a construction company. Maybe they'll give me a five to 10 minute interview. These are opportunities for you to be able to, um, these assignments are, are opportunities for you to be able to interact with people in the business community and learn from them. Um, the fact that you are a student, an entrepreneurship student at UNT Dallas that want to start a business will spark um, interest uh, from business owners. With that being said, business entrepreneurs and business owners are very busy. So it's really imperative to not rush and procrastinate and try to do 20 assignments in the last week or so. It's really important to follow the cadence that we have assigned weekly so that you're able to um, effectively ask or invite someone for their interview and you have time for them to schedule time um, from their schedules to interview you. It's really difficult for a business owner or it's frustrating if someone asks for a 10 minute interview that you need to have done by five o'clock the same day and they haven't prepared for the interview. So please be kind and courteous to those individuals because you will get a lot out of it if you're able to contact them, schedule a time and have an effective interview. Also with those type of assignments, um, sticking with those three point assignments, those you can submit video or audio recordings. You, you should have that option on Canvas. So you should be in good shape there. You can also write you can also transcribe your interviews as well. You would have the opportunity to submit via text, um, whether it's in word format or if you type it directly into Canvas, you can submit an audio recording and you can submit a video recording to most assignments on Canvas. All right, does anyone have any questions so far? Am I going too fast? No, is this relevant information? Do you want me to stop? I can, I can stop. And you say, Matt, let's keep going. No, you can't say Matt in at all. Professor Houston, let's keep going. Are we good? Can I keep going? Can I keep clicking? All right, great. Um, because I want yes. you all to be successful. I want you all to be successful in this class. And this really is a fun class. But, and I say this every semester, I've taught this class for three and a half years now. Everyone procrastinates and waits. Not everyone. A lot of students um, wait till either right before midterms, right before finals to submit a lot of assignments. If you do that with this, it'll frustrate yourself. It'll frustrate, uh, it'll strain the rest of your course loads because it'll be too much at one time. Please do a little bit each week. I beg you. All right. And then it's very manageable. The, se the second group of assignments I want to discuss are your six point assignments that are in your textbook. There are this is your textbook here. It's called Entrepreneurship. Please make sure you have the second edition. If you have the first edition, please try to get a return and get the second edition 
from Neck, Neck, and Murray. It looks like this entrepreneurship. At the back of each chapter, at the end of each chapter, there are case studies. It's also in your eBooks as well. At each case study, you have several questions. Um, the first chapter you are going to discuss Sabra Gupta, the founder of Guyan One Inc. You'll read her two page case study and then you answer the three questions at the end. As you answer those questions, you submit those on Canvas. I grade them with six to, to, for you to have six points maximum. Do those for every chapter. Do the three point um, assignments, um, the 25 to 30 assignments. That is about half of your grade. That'll equal about to about 200 points. There are also your finals are, will, will count for 100 points and your midterm will count for 100 points, which will be the other half of your points. So two assignments are, 50, are almost 50% 50 of your grade. The maximum amount of you, maximum amount of points you can receive uh, in this class will be a 423, 430. Um, to get an A, um, to get a perfect score is actually 413. So all assignments, if you have perfect scores on all assignments, you can get a 413. With the extra credit points, you can get up to 425 points, I believe. FYI, do your extra credit if you, if you can. Your midterm, um, now let's talk about the midterm. And again, this will all be on PowerPoint if I had it. I will probably show you briefly next week when, when we have PowerPoint up and going. Your midterm will be your business plan draft that you and your team members, you all are assigned a group of team out of, you have six, we have six groups. Um, each group has about five members. And you all in the middle of March will submit your midterm. Your midterm will be a business that you and your business, you and your group have decided throughout the semester. Um, you all can start meeting as soon as after class today and just understanding what type of business. Y'all can think of any other business, some business that you all have mentioned in this group in this room, y'all can discuss that and decide which business you all would like to go with. And then all of you all will work on that one particular business. Um, you will submit the draft for your midterm. And then for your final, you will not only submit a final paper, but you would also submit to me a presentation deck. And then you all will, your group will present to me personally, possibly a group of other entrepreneurs via Zoom for your final grade. Does anyone have any questions? No? Does that make sense to everyone? And again, this rec recording will be available this evening and uh, we will go over this next week so that you can actually have it in the PowerPoint presentation. All right. One other thing I want you all to, well, I, I have another extra credit opportunity for you and that is for you to follow the school of business on twitter if you're able to and i just sent that on your chat box if you go to twitter and you like unt untd school business and you show proof that you can submit that you have liked it do a screenshot that you are following that um, website, you can send that snap, snapshot to um, extra credit assignment number three. Yes, Anthony, I see you have a hand up. Uh, that was by accident. I, I was trying to press the chat. Oh, no worries. Yeah. Well, if y'all have any questions, please feel free to raise your hand. As you can see, I acknowledge that. So, Caitlin, great question. Where do we submit your extra credit? You submit it um, under the assignment section. Let me see if it's still active on your Canvas. I'm going to Canvas now. I'll go to your course. Yeah, 
Yes, under assignments, if you go down to extra credit assignments, you will have 10 slots where you can submit your extra credit um, papers. Um, I would suggest you to use the extra credit assignment two slot for proof of your um, YouTube channel and then use extra credit assignment three for um, your Twitter proof that you're following Twitter. We're going to use extra credit assignment number one for the CRED survey assignment, which I will give you all the correct um, hyperlink at the end of this week. I gave you all the wrong week on the assignment topics. I will send that to you once I get the right, correct one from the office, the CRED office at UNT Dallas. Excuse me, and you had said the, um... The one from following you on YouTube, I mean, subscribing to you on YouTube was for uh, assignment number two, right? On extra credit? Yes. YouTube okay, is for perfect. assignment number two. Thank you. No problem. Please like and follow Twitter if you can, Brianna. Because what I want, what I will do on the School of Business Twitter account is that I will post flyers of events that will be extra credit opportunities for you all to attend. So let's say the career, I will be posting, I, I control the social, I am building up the social media presence for the UNT Dallas School of Business. And I will post um, assigned UNT programs on that account. If you attend that program virtually, of course, um, and you send proof that you attend it with a half page paper of the synopsis of that event, and you submit them as one of your extra credit assignments, you will receive extra credit uh, for attending that program. That sound good? Is that a good solution for extra credit, extra points? Yes, sir. Good deal. Good deal. All right, let's get back. Let's, let's start wrapping it up. Let's see what we got here. What else can I do? We'll talk about that next week. Talk about that next week. Talk about that next week. Did anyone have any more questions about me from my journey? Um, I know I'll say I was going to make this week about you, but if you all heard me, did y'all have any questions or do y'all have any questions about me as an entrepreneur that I will be an open book to ask, to answer for the next 10 minutes? What businesses did you own or like what, what entrepreneurial opportunities have you had? Okay, um, that's a great question, Brianna. The first business I created was a landscaping business at uh, 13. Uh, and it wasn't because I wanted to start a business. It was because my dad uh, made a decision to, to stop giving me allowance, mainly because my dad was an entrepreneur too. And he, he figured that this is going to be it his way of teaching me entrepreneurship. And so he stopped giving me allowance and he gave me a lawnmower, an edger and weed eater, uh, a five gallon cart to, to put gas in and then a one gallon cart to put gas and oil in. And he said, um, you, sh you will start your new business by cutting my yard and I'll give you $20 to cut the yard. And you have to find business around the neighborhood during the summer so that you can save up enough money for the whole school year. So you need to cut yards for two and a half months so that you can have 12 months worth uh, allowance. And I won't touch your money. It'll be all yours based on how much you work. And so that was my introduction. So that was my first business. Um, I then started a band in high school. Um, I used to play trumpet and I used to write music um, so I, I started a band in high school and then in college, that band turned into a production company um, and a marketing and a management company where I booked acts. I did things like that. And I also have some write, um, writing um, credits on a couple of projects. Um, in college, I started a tutoring company called Group Excellence, um, me and four other individuals started that in 2004. And that was like my first business that was like, oh, 
that kind of put me on the map. And so we started a tutoring company because we all attended SMU and we were all minorities. We were all uh, black and brown students. And we were trying to figure out how to um, tutor and mentor elementary, middle and high school students in math and science so that they can have opportunities to attend SMU or schools like that. And so that business um, exploded between 2007 and 2010, um, going from um, staff, a staff of about 40 to a staff of about 650 people. Um, I was responsible for 600 people in 16 cities across the country. And we were tutoring about 100,000 students a year for about three or four years. And so we were the, one of the, Inc. Magazine called us the fastest growing education companies two years in a row. Uh, we sold that company for about $65 million in 2012. And then I started other businesses. I started, that's when I started a construction business. That was a disaster because the person who I entrusted to do all the construction stuff um, actually took all my money. They didn't take all my money, but took all the money that I wanted to invest in that business, which was about $50,000. Um, and that was, that was heartburn. Um, I also created through my, that band that became like a production business. I was still doing that. So I was starting to do events. I got to the point where I was inviting stars and stuff. I was in my twenties. I was a club promoter. So, so I would bring in stars and, and do stuff like that. Um, that was a business that uh, I had a very bad experience in 2010 where I lost about another $50,000, $60,000 Super Bowl weekend. If y'all recall, that was the big ice weekend in Dallas-Fort Worth Super Bowl weekend. And I had a, I planned a party downtown Dallas. Um, I, I um, paid and hired celebrities to, to be at the party and no one showed up. So I lost a lot of money. I stopped that party production business at the Super Bowl. Never did that again. I then created a consulting business in which I help other businesses, nonprofits, um, education entities like schools, charter schools, things of that nature, build their infrastructure. Um, my skill set, my specialty is operations management, public affairs, and just overall um, building teams within uh, the business, within your business, trainings, things of that nature. That's kind of my shtick. And so I was teaching entities across the country and in South Africa um, that um, the Nelson Mandela Foundation was one of my clients. They were starting a clothing line actually. Um, and they were bringing the clothing line to New York um, called the 46664 brand. That was Nelson Mandela's um, prison number and when he was in Robben Island, when he was a political prisoner. And they made that into a social entrepreneurial venture um, where they were giving jobs to people in Soweto um, and in a lot of the shanty towns in South Africa, giving them a way to, to, to make money internationally. So I was part of that consultant team. And I brought uh, some students from Oak Cliff and from South Dallas to South Africa for two weeks through a leadership program through KIPP Academy. I had a consultant business that did that. Um, I still have that business and I am now doing real estate um, consulting um, with several projects in Dallas and Fort Worth. Um, one trying to um, start a 40 story high rise project in Dallas and creating a catalytic um, mixed youth property in South side of Fort Worth off of Evans and Rosedale. So those are the type of business. I also was a, a restaurant owner, not only my wife's family, my wife's family owns the Island Spot Jamaican restaurant, but I um, owned seven self-serve yogurt companies called Orange Leaf. Um, I owned them for about seven years, um, two in Miami, two in Cincinnati, two in Shreveport and one in Austin. Um, and I sold those in 2019. Did that answer your question, Brianna? Yes, you've had quite the journey. Yeah, so that's, that's partially why I like to teach this. And so um, 
actually this UNT that this is this is really funny and facts this job as a professor was my first time like having a hired job before in my life no I shouldn't say that a full-time job with benefits things of that nature this is the first job I've had that throughout my life. I've either, I've had part-time jobs. I've worked for the Dallas Mavericks before. I've been president of the Dallas Black Chamber of Commerce before. Um, but this is my first job that, you know, I am a full-time employee, so and so, and I still have my other businesses on the side. So I just want to share that information with you all throughout the course of the semester. And I'm going to, I'm really going to bring my friends on. A lot of my friends do business across the world, across the country, um, and hopefully you'll hear from them five to 10 times throughout the semester. Any other questions? Any questions about any of the businesses I just, I just mentioned? What were your businesses uh, set up as? Uh, LOC, the, uh, sole proprietorships? And it crossed the gamut. That's a very great question. We're actually going to have a lesson around March, early April on business formation. So I've had several businesses that were sole proprietorships. Um, Group Excellence um, was an S Corp. And then we made an LLC. And then we switched it to a C Corp. So um, the they, businesses have evolved based on their growth. Um, based on my purpose. Um, I primarily operate in sole proprietorships under my LLC, which is Collaborative Culture LLC. So I typically put all of my businesses under my LLC. Great question. Any other questions? All right, if not, this is what we're gonna do. Um, I will post this again. Uh, I'll post this on the announcements portion of Canvas. Please continue, do your bug list um, and do your second assignment that's due on Friday. Um, for the bug list, they're going to say there's a video that you need to select. That YouTube link is not, no longer valid, but you don't need that video to do your assignment. So just continue and complete the assignment. All right? If you all have any questions, uh, I have completed the the pandemonium and the mayhem from the first week of school so now i'm caught up on on email so please feel free to contact me thank you all very much y'all have a great afternoon great evening thank you no problem thank you see y'all next week thank you professor yes sir no problem y'all have a good one see you next week